Testing the DNA of ancient bones, how a new research method could revolutionise our understanding of British history. Now, a new DNA technique is being used to re-examine key moments from Britain's history. Researchers are now able to study changes to DNA in human bones that are hundreds of years old. The results can show them where groups of people came from and how they interacted with the local population. One leading historian has told BBC News it will revolutionise our understanding of history. Here's our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh. Poking away in the ear socket of a small skull fragment. Yeah. It's from someone who lived more than 1500 years ago in Yorkshire. The scientists are looking for a tiny bone that's the best preserved bit of all. And using a new technique, they can find out more about the individual and where their ancestors came from. We want to understand many of these different epochs in British history, from the Roman period to when uh, the people referred to as the Anglo-Saxons arrived, through the Viking Age period, and see how all of this shaped uh, the ancestry and diversity of the nation. Professor Skogland is working with archaeologists. I think there is one. Here in the mud, carefully sifting through bones at an Anglo-Saxon burial site in Polton in Cheshire. They find the skull and other human remains. The DNA they gather from them will tell them so much more about Britain's history. It's going to be revolutionary. This method will allow us to see the type of relations that are being formed with the native population. Um, are they cooperative? Is there interbreeding? Are a lot of native uh, sub-Romano Brits able to make their way into the elite? DNA is a spirally molecule that can be read like a barcode and it changes over generations. So far, scientists have been able to identify only very big changes that take place over thousands of years. For example, the physical changes that take place as a result of human evolution. But now, they've been able to identify more recent changes that take place over hundreds of years. So they can now tell when and how different groups of people migrated and how they interacted with native populations. Well, we've been good at the deep time past or sort of average time past. Now we actually, it's giving us that opportunity to, to look at more recent humans and people and community and migration. And that's, that's just, it's been a big gap for us. Although we could look at their DNA, we couldn't really look that closely into their ancestry. It didn't make as much sense. It was too, too much of a mishmash. There are thousands of human remains in Britain's museums to analyse. Each has their own tale to tell. The new discovery, published in the journal Nature, will enable scientists to hear their stories and rewrite the history books. Palab Ghosh, BBC News.